Alright, so you guys just watched a template that I made in After Effects. Now, um, I'm going to be doing a tutorial for people who don't know how to edit it. Um, so, yeah, uh, you're going to want to download it. And, um, yeah, so, by the way, if you need After Effects for this, and to get After Effects, you can just download it and get the one-month free trial um, because um, After Effects actually costs money. So if you want to download this, it'll be free, and you can, uh, you know, get it, uh, the template. So, yeah, I'm just going to be showing you. You don't need any plugins for this because this intro didn't use any plugins, uh, just like all my other intros, if you didn't know. I'm not trying to brag or anything. Just I'm just letting you guys know. Just, um, but, yeah, that's about it. And make sure um, that you follow all the things I said in the video. And one thing I forgot to mention was make sure that the resolution is full. And that's about it. So, yeah, here's the tutorial. Alright people, um, so you just saw that template and uh, I'm going to show you how to change your name and stuff and template and yeah. So yeah, you're going to go down to this composition right here, so let's say I'm on comp 1, I'll go to template and you're going to look for the text layer uh, that says template and you're going to go click the text tool up here, to click the text tool, oh, so yeah, you're going to go to the template, you're going to make sure you clicked on that layer and you're going to click with this text tool and you're gonna go all the way down and you're gonna completely delete it and you're gonna change it to your name so in this case I'll do e -word. so yeah it's gonna look off-centered and I'm gonna show you how to change that so you go to position and you're gonna go to the 960 thing and you're just gonna move it um, until the red aligns with this green thing so as you can see it didn't align uh, perfectly so yeah there you go and uh, to get this green thing up you go to I'm pretty sure this oh, no sorry uh, here and you click this thing just like white thing and you click proportional grid so when I click it now you can see it's all nice and clean there's no grid and you go to proportional grid it really helps with 2d and censoring everything so yeah so now uh, you have it centered but when you do the balance it kind of as you can see like right here it's kind of wait. It's kind of scaling back towards this way, and and the reason why is if we go to the text tool. Uh, oh, sorry. Or maybe this tool. Yeah, yeah, this tool. Sorry. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's this thing. I'm pretty sure if you click. Uh, okay. Let me just undo change value there. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, it's this. If you click Y, it's the pan behind the anchor tool, basically. I don't. I've never used it before. Like the name. Sorry, that that sounds dumb. I have used this before. I just don't know the name. So you're gonna get the anchor, and you're gonna just drag the anchor to the center. And I don't know what ha uh, happens with this this red thing here. So we're just gonna try to align it as best as we can. And it doesn't need to be absolutely 100% perfect. In fact, if I go like this, and it's not entirely aligned. But if we go here and we go position, we go. Now we have to set it back to the default, which is um, 960, 540. And as you can see, it's pretty much centered. And when it does the scale, it's really hard to notice. Now, if you're a perfectionist, unlike me, you're probably going to go there and spend 10 hours trying to center this completely. So now you have this. And you're going to go, um, you're going to go to composition. And you're gonna go add red and cube. So I know it's cut off, but you're gonna go to composition basically, which is up here. Add to render cube. And you're gonna get this setting here. Now I myself haven't rendered this just yet, but you're gonna go and you're gonna uh, render it by going here. So um, you're gonna go, first thing you're gonna go is lossless. Now this is the settings. So you can change the format here but uh, that's like the file it'll specifically be rendered as but if you go to uh, uh, the what's it called this thing here format options here's the audio so you can change it to whatever you want I'm gonna go to Apple Wallace uh, lossless sorry and the video codec make sure it's H.264 and uh, <coughs> hit OK hit OK and then go down to composition and name it 
um, new intro by Euler, uh, by Bear of Graphics. Now, uh, if you do decide to use this, you must credit me. I'm just warning you now, credit me. You, you've been warned. So yeah, um, so then just do that and you click render and uh, the bar will go and yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to just pause it here. Stop. And yeah, that's basically what will happen is it'll render for you. So yep, yeah, that's basically about it. Um, and then once you render it, you should hear like a noise and yeah, you can get it.